It was a risk to reopen, but one this government was willing to take. Covid cases rose, children were sent home, some schools had to shut again. So my name is Matthew Taylor, I work as the Music and Media Technician at West Thames College. My name is Jeffrey Jefferson and my opinion on like how teachers tried to resolve or like handle the situation I think was uh, in my opinion bad. Teachers argue social distancing will be difficult particularly for younger pupils. However the government says it's issued guidance and offered support for a phased return from June the 1st. I think people working in education across the whole country have kind of done the best with, with what they've got. I think they're doing the best they can like there's not much else they can do. Schooling at home is widening attainment gaps between rich and poor. Under lockdown the ability to learn can be stifled by environment and access to technology. Education is really important and I think the students that have probably suffered the most are ones from more disadvantaged backgrounds who don't necessarily have all of the equipment um, or the access to internet and Wi-Fi at home and I think that could have been fought through a bit more by the government. Year 12 student Sharon worries she's fallen behind as for a while she struggled to get hold of a laptop. The government and schools expect us to like, maintain the expectations they have grade-wise and some of us, being at a disadvantage, can't necessarily produce that expectation. I think one of the things that comes to mind is the whole disaster with the exams for the Year 11s in secondary schools. Um, I can't believe they didn't plan that sooner. Um, as to what they were going to do, it was all, all seemed very last minute. So that's one thing that sticks out. One student is so frustrated he wrote to Sky News to complain that the government isn't doing enough to, as he put it, mitigate the months of lost learning. Aaron Billingsley, a year 10 from Sutton Coalfield, is worried about the damage to next year's GCSE. I think the main neglect towards students was not the government's doing, but unis are uh, basically locking people in their accommodation. I think everyone should have the vaccine if they're kind of told to get it. Um, but these anti-vaxxer type people, I guess to, to ban them from places, I can see why you would you would ban them from places like education as well, but I think it becomes very sticky. It becomes a very sticky situation when you start to um, ban people from premises. So I would probably say um, say no. I don't think they should be banned. Uh, yeah, to be honest, I w will be taking the vaccine. I wouldn't be taking it straight away, but I'll be taking it late. The uh, reason why I would be taking it late is because uh, I really just don't want to wait in the long line. I might as well just wait a bit more. There are those obviously who feel that a, a vaccine is something they object to uh, politically or, or for ideological reasons uh, or for medical reasons. I, I think they're totally wrong. I know that there are loads of people who, who count themselves anti-vaxxers. That's totally the wrong approach. Uh, it's safe. It's the right thing to do. It's good for you and it's good for the whole of the country.